Hello all my chickadees and welcome back to Obscura. This is part two, so if you haven't checked out part one, go check it out. Um, let's see. Apparently, <laughs> us deciding to go into the church instead of um, going to see what the wreck is about set us on a path. Let's see. Because look at this. We go to load. And it says Cirrus route. So we are on the route for the handsome guy we met in the last chapter. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Let me move myself back over here. There we go. All better. Now, we can get back in to see what's going on. Because we just met him and then we went back to the tavern, I do believe. So... We're officially on <laughs> Sarah's route. Okay. At night, I toss and turn. Not even the inn's freshly clean sheets do anything to soothe my re restlessness. Before I know it, it's the next day. And I've barely gotten a wink of sleep. The bare mass caretaker stops by for the usual breakfast chatter. But my mind is elsewhere. All I want is answers. Eventually, I'm back at the doors of the Lunar Church. <laughs> we went right back to him, didn't we? Something about them beckons me. A deep magnet magneticism that draws me straight through the entrance without a second thought. There's a different in incense wa wafering around today. It tickles my nose with notes of mahogany and velvet. There he is. There's our lover. <laughs> well, hopefully future lover, because we are on your route, buddy. We're back, Cirrus. I expect to see Cirrus in the same spot as yesterday, but I find him further in this time, with an unmasked woman kneeling before him. Oh, somebody's actually got their mas mask off down here? That's dangerous. Takes me a moment to understand what's happening. The priest doesn't say a word. His stature is imposing and almost regal, and practically towering over the other person. Completely different from yesterday. I can't really make out what he's saying, but she doesn't move. And eventually, his hand finds its way to the top of her head. Perhaps he's blessing her? I wonder why the atmosphere is so heavy in here. I decide to hang back. It's not my place to interrupt whatever ritual may be going on. My eyes rove over the decor instead, specifically the paintings and the detailed de scenes they depict. Massive oils on campus, canvas crackling with the a with age at the edges. The larger one shows the two gods at opposing ends, dancing around the earth in harmony. Their arms reach out for one another as their endless rotations continue on until the collapse of the universe itself, unable to ever re reunite. It's a little sad. Sparrow? I didn't notice him approach. Cirrus's tone is warm and comforting, and the smile right under his mask peeps, peeks out as usual. It's as though the ceremony money from earlier never ever happened hey I'm back didn't want to disturb you back there back there oh he tilts his head lips stretching into a mysterious smile okay look at look at him grin he's so cute did I make you curious by any chance uh, about the ceremony yes Oh, boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Boop. <laughs> yes, I am saving every choice here. See, these are the prologues, and then this is the serious route choices. Okay, were we curious? Yes. You both seem so serious. Don't think I've ever seen anything like it. Hmm. 
There was a pleased rumble coming from his chest. She was readying herself for something important in her life. It needed some reassurance. So, she turned to the lunar god itself and demanded she be fully cleansed. Why? Simply so that she may begin that chapter with a clear conscience. More than that, I cannot say. Privacy and such. That's fine. Thanks for explaining. Either way, I'm sure you didn't come here just to spy on me in the paintings. He co his comment makes me smile. Maybe I did. Hmm. If I could see his eyebrows, the tone of his voice suggests they'd be raised right now. I guess you, you're right, though. I'm in need of advice. A pause. My star, nothing pleases me more than knowing you feel comfortable enough to come here for my help. Cyrus comes closer, and for the first time, I take notice of his height compared to mine. He's got to be at least a full head taller. He's a tall boy. <laughs> we need art prompto. We need art prompto. This is cute. <laughs> okay, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay. Adjusted myself a little bit there. <laughs> what can I do for you? I hesitate. Unsure if he really should be trusted or not. I'm looking for something. Lunar Ikar, to be specific. Something in his demeanor shifts when he hears this. You're sure? Quite sure. That's quite the task. What do you need such a precious resource for? No, is he old? <laughs> oh. Oh, I see. Fractum anima. I thought that illness had very well vanished from this world. His words startled me as I instantly stare up at his face, hoping to catch a glimpse of his eyes through the holeless mask. The only better way to discern if he's telling the truth, if he actually knows what he's talking about. But I see nothing, of course. Only the intricate imbo embossing on the metal service. He knows the name of my illness. Wasn't expecting that. Ooh, he is sharp. How do you... have encountered it before? Though it remains exceedingly rare. As is the cure, of course. I should assume you've asked around and seen for yourself. The weight of the situation returns to me as my chest feels like it's being crushed. I know. I feel him placing his hand on the top of my head to give it a gentle bat. A compassionate gesture. Then, that same hand trails down to cut my cheek over the mass surface. The sudden intimacy of the gesture makes me jolt. My star. What if I already told you there might be a wor all another way? Oh? There's another way than that extremely rare and expensive eager? Please, let me know. <laughs> Under the privacy of my mask, my eyes go wide. Impossible. I wouldn't be so sure. The lunar god is benevolent, wondrous being. Goosebumps are rubbed all over my skin. My heart leaps into my throat. It's too good to be true. It has to be. I want to know more about the illness, okay? I want to know more about the fractum anima. Like, what is it? What is going... Why? I mean, what exactly is the illness is my question. He is ill with something, yes. Yes, he is. But what is it? I want to know. I'm sure they'll tell us in time. There's no way he could have could have the answers right here. I can't stop staring at him, waiting for him to elaborate. Cirrus's other hand captures my other cheek so my head is cradled in his embrace as his voice drops an octave. You're, you're shivering. 
Time around us seems to come to a standstill. I don't have the cure here. Not yet. But I want to help you. I see how brightly you shine. And how much you want to overcome this. I can never turn a blind eye to that kind of hunger for life. Will you let me help you, Sparrow? <laughs> yes, yes, I can't accept- yes. <laughs> I love that, look at that one, I can't accept- yes. Okay, we're gonna go with this one, yes. <laughs> of course, Cirrus. How can I thank you enough? I need nothing. I am simply performing my duty. And knowing that it may save someone makes it all the more rewarding. I am in disbelief. There has to be a catch here somewhere. I need to know the details. But he's been so kind to me. I have a hard time doubting the validity of his claims. Sears readjusted his gloves with a practiced motion. I'll need a little bit of time. Getting a hold of the substance is no easy feat. The disappointment in his tone is obvious, and I believe him. Even for someone with more influence, there's bound to be obstacles in the way. How will you get a hold of it, then? Have you heard of the Lunar God's healing powers, my star? He turns to face the giant statue surrounded by the candles, and motions for me to follow. I have. And how much do you know about it? As we both come to a halt, heads tilted up to get a full, full view of the statue and its surroundings, I respond with silence. Hmm? Long ago, it was said that the priests were able to receive a sample of the blood that flows in these higher beings' veins, veins to save their people. That is, the Igor that we know of today. Pure, concentrated life force infused with their powers. In this case, healing powers. Oh, the Ikor is like blood of the um higher beings, maybe like the um the gods they're worshiping. That's interesting. So, are these higher beings still around if, you know, Ikor still comes in every now and then? They have to be, right? How are we going to meet them? Ooh. Okay, but there's no reliable way to get a hold of it these days. I hold my breath. That being said, the blood has once been taken and thoroughly analyzed by a man who went into hiding. Rumor goes that all he left, rumor goes that he left all of his notes behind after passing away. A gasp leaves my lips. You're saying we could find these notes? And replicate the composition of real lunar ichor? Precisely. My mind goes into overdrive. How could this be the first time I've heard of it? Where do you know all this from? Cirrus smiles wide. This man went by the name of Nexus. And he was a fellow priest from this very church. This has to be too good to be true. It's just not possible. How... Please, rein in your expectations, Sparrow. As he uses my name, the timbre of his voice turns serious once more. I did not know him well. Few people did. He was a reserved person, with not much to his name. Finding his residence, or whatever he may have hidden in his secrets, is bound to be a difficult task, and I need all the help I can get. And even once we find these notes... There's no guarantee we'll be able to replicate it with the information we have, nor that someone will do it. The knot returns to my throat, but I have to cling on to more, on to then. Okay, sorry, let me do that sentence again. The knot returns to my throat, but I have more to cling on to than when I first arrived. Better to try than do nothing at all. Exactly, exactly. You keep trying, don't give up, bud. Indeed. Something grabs hold of me. Determination. Unlike any I've ever felt before. Hope soothing my heart. Even if it's just for a little bit, I can't quite let my guard down fully. But, 
This is a first step. Eventually, we fall into silence as we stare back up at the statue. Just checking, but it's not as easy as just saying pretty please and having some ichor appear before us. He chuckles. Unlikely, but if you'd like to offer a prayer, that will always be encouraged. I compliment. I compliment the idea. <laughs> okay, we're we're getting an option to to pray to the god here. I think Cirrus would like it. I think Cirrus would like it. So I'm gonna go with I th think I'd like to. It can't hurt, but I'm not sure how to. I don't know any lunar prayers. Allow me to guide you, my d my star. I nod. His shadowy mask turns my way, lips set into a neutral line. On your knees. The usual. The usual warmth of his voice is completely stripped from his command, and I very quickly realize that this must be the mindset he was in earlier when he helped cleanse the other woman. Sorry for me pausing a second ago. Like, he said that, and I just had um, that song, Take Me to Church, pop in my mind. <laughs> it could fit this scenario. Hmm. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Focus. Focus, Sparrow. Focus. <laughs> For now, I obey. Shoulders straight. Hands together. The words are efficient and utterly no nonsense. It's easy to tell he's done this a million times. Chin up, Sparrow. Do not hide your face from the lunar god. Expose your emotions. I feel... Oh, whoa, there's a lot. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh... Oh goodness. Oh man. I, I just feel like I'm going to mess up this route so bad. Okay. I feel vulnerable. I feel protected. I feel annoyed. I feel pleasure. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, not annoyed. Not annoyed. Um, vulnerable, you know, it's probably, yeah, but no. I want to do protected or pleasure. Hmm. I'll worship like a dog at the shrine of your lies. I'll tell you my sins and you can shop in your night. Okay, um, <laughs> I want to do pleasure so bad, guys. I do. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, um, let's do protect it because it feels like he's looking out for us. Surprisingly safe. It's a comforting feeling knowing that someone is guiding me like this. Though I never felt as though the lunar god was one I believed in. I feel myself opening up to this being, allowing them to see me for who I really am. For a moment, I feel at peace again. You're almost there. Simply repeat after me, my star. I don't know if he puts his hands together as well. I don't dare look back. But he begins a short prayer, speaking solemn solemnly and clearly. I repeat the words after him, again and again. We fall into a trance. With that, I hope that my pleas reach the moon. Finally, it's over. I take a moment to regain awareness of my surroundings and raise my head. You did very good. I'm certain your prayers will be heard. He smiles patiently as I rise from my, knee my kneeling position and stretch out. I hope so. Try to believe in yourself a little more. No such pleas could fall on deaf ears. I got my I got my doubts about that. But still, I appreciate your guidance. I'm about to ask if this is how prayers usually go when the echo of the doors re creaking resonates through the church. New visitors begin filtering in and the spell is broken. My inner clock tells me it's time to head back. Thank you for today. I'll come back tomorrow so that we can start searching. By all me means, do. I'll do my utmost to find any leads, and let you know if there's anything to work with. We share a quiet smile. Get home safe, Sparrow. Ow. 
I want to know what the safe word is for. They said pick a safe word, and like pumpkin was the default safe word. So what is the what is the safe word for? See, it highlights when I go up there. <laughs> we got a safe word. Why do we need a safe word? <laughs> okay. I leave the church and step outside, right back into the darkness. On my way back to the leaping bar. I stop at the food stall for some hearty potato soup, and I allow myself to take a bit of time to relax. I don't think I'll ever truly get used to not seeing the sun, but I'm starting to warm up to the underground as a whole. Hallway through another, halfway through another sip, I think back on what happened at the church. I don't understand why he was so insistent. It was kind of nice. I hated every second of it. Oh, come on. I'm not even going to save this one. I know what I want. It was kind of nice. We we loved it. We didn't hate it. Cirrus may have been pushy, but I can't deny it. That session felt wonderful in the strangest of ways. The bang felt natural in that moment. And just maybe, maybe I would want it to happen again. Either way, I need to come to terms with what happened. I have to work hard while I'm here. After loitering around for just a bit longer, I pay for my soup and begin my long detour back. Passing through the marketplace so many times means that I've started becoming a familiar face, and that in turn, I recognize some of the owners. Oh, here's the shopkeeper. Still looking? Unfortunately, yes. I'll keep my eyes peeled for you. The owner of the book stall nods my direction, and I know without a doubt he will. Like many others setting up shop here, he can he can be a treasure trove of rumors and information. Say, could I ask you something? Depends on what it is. Have you heard of a priest going by the name of Nexius? Shopkeeper falls silent in thought and drums his finger on the surface of the wooden dis uh, display table. Can't say I have. Why? Heard he passed? I kept my attentions vague, and he, if he notices, he doesn't press. Not exactly an uncommon occurrence around these parts. For some reason, I made this guy really southern. <laughs> Thanks anyway. Today's search is unsuccessful yet again, but don't let it bother me. After all, I have Cirrus' lead. Just as I'm about to turn back towards the inn, I nearly do dodge bumping square into someone's chest. Oh, hello! Hello! He has artwork. He's important. Fancy looking stranger. Oh? I bow my head in apology, but the stranger fumbles back, distraught. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, dear. I hope I didn't startle you. All good here. Are you okay? Please don't worry about me. I should be apologizing instead. I'm not sure how to feel about the sudden outburst. When I take in their appearance, I instantly know it's one of the noble suns from the surface. His skin sports a rich, sun-kissed glow that almost makes me envious. We're envious because he's seen the sun. <laughs> and we haven't seen the sun in three damn days. Quoting another song there. <laughs> the high quality of the suit's fabric and the elaborate pieces of jewelry don't lie, either. They're selected with obvious care and attention to the outfit as a whole. Yeah, he's rich. Even the mask is perfectly coordinated with the rest of rest of his suit. That's not necessary. That's not necessary. I'm fine. Look. I hold up my hands to show no harm was done. Oh. Oh. I'm sure I'm glad. I hope we'll meet again, if you don't mind me saying. You are a very kind person. The person takes my hand and brings their lips to it. An old-fashioned custom at this point. I'm surprised to see anyone still doing such a thing. Okay. We can't damage our relationship with Cirrus. Goodness. Three. Um, it's... Okay, we can thank him. Or retract my hand. Let's just thank him. Be nice. There really is no need for this, but, um, thank you. M my pleasure. At first glance, he's an easily frightened sort. I'm not sure how much of that is genuine. P please take care, and uh, allow me to make this up to you someday. 
the person quickly excuses himself and left and I'm left baffled. The underground truly is a strange place. It's a testament of how many different people congregate down here. But you never really know who you're talking to, after all. True. True. Very, very true. I shake the thought the thoughts from my head and finally find my way back to my room where my bed welcomes me after a strange day out. It's funny how familiar this in, ro in room has become too. Even seeing Rufus's face and his bloodied weapon every day has become something of a comfort. I'm sure that eventually the church will feel the same. That same church is empty the next day I step inside. There's nothing but the echoes of my own calls for Cirrus and the flicker of the candles around the statue. Oh no, where is he? For a while, I simply wait in front of the altar. Five minutes turn into ten, which turn into twenty. At this point, I'm pacing around the candles, wondering where he is. Didn't he say he might have some information today? Curiosity and boredom take me back to the church where I've seen or ornate doorways lead to who knows where. Maybe they're his chambers. That's when I hear it. The muffled shouts. The left door is slightly ajar, and as I peek past it, I'm just as discreetly as I can muster. I finally catch a glimpse of Cirrus. And he's not alone. What are you doing? Okay. There's a strange tension in the air, one far more prominent than yesterday, and it dawns upon me as I lean further against the wall that he's genuinely angry. Oh yeah, look look at look at his expression. He is not he's he's a little disgust there. The usual smooth, silken tone of his voice is raised towards the person in front of him. I don't know who he who it is, but they have their hands raised defensively. And their own words come out with much difficulty. Dude, you interrogating them? Do better. I promise. Please. Just just give me time. That is, that is not good enough. The venomous hiss makes me jump. I never expected to hear this kind of anger coming from a priest of all people. On holy ground, no less. I, I can't speed up the pro process. Not anymore. They'll be on to me. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Show me that you're sorry. A shiver runs down my spine. What is happening right now? Sears expectantly hands the person in front of him something that gleams in the candlelight. Pale and deathly. Did he just hand him a knife? It's a blade. Oh no. My body immediately tenses at the sight and my heartbeat skyrockets. I have to do something. Is it even safe to interfere? Shit, what do I do? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. This is not gonna be good. Okay, we can interfere. Confront Cirrus after the other person leaves. Walk away. Oh god. Okay, so if we're going to confront Sirius after the other person walks away, that means that um, he's not asking the guy to kill himself, okay? He might be asking him to kill somebody else or threaten somebody else, but he's not going to ask him to kill himself if he has a blade. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Because it says after the other person leaves, so he's not going to die. Okay, I was afraid. Ooh. Okay, I'm knocking everything over over here. I was afraid he was asking him to kill himself as penance for not doing what he wanted. Um, interfere, we might make Cirrus mad. He might be pissed at us. Mm, if we walk away and pretend it doesn't happen, what good is that going to do? Uh, let's confront him after the other person leaves. I can't move. I'm too paralyzed by the sight in front of me. How could this be happening? The person now wielding the knife holds it in their hands as if they would a precious jewel, then looks up at Cirrus. Their voice trembles. R right here? Hmm. No, you're right. 
Around the statue would be a more fitting setting for this. Fuck. Okay, maybe he is gonna kill him. Shall we? Yes. Yes, by all means. In my panic, I try to shuffle back noiselessly, but one of my steps nearly fumbles along, allowing the clacking sound to echo freely beneath the walls. Who's there? Is it too late to run? What they find, just as I'm about to make a run for, a hand clenches onto the fabric of my robe. Hard. Never seen this person before. No matter how much I struggle, there's no time. In just a few seconds, I'm face to face with Sirius himself. In this moment, we fucked up. <laughs> if I didn't know better, I'd say he's stunned to see me. He nods once in the other person's direction. Who proceeds to drag me through the doorway and unceremoniously toss me into the room. Sparrow. Cirrus's voice turns back to the warm, comforting one I've always heard. But right now, I don't know if I trust it. You shouldn't be here, my star. I am simply taking care of some sensitive matters. You have to understand. Sensitive matters? Really? You, you gave him a knife. One that he was going to use on himself. On himself? He pauses. I think you had the wrong idea. What I gave him was not a weapon, but a ritual dagger. One used in elaborate dances and rituals of repentance. I'm, le I'm left utterly speechless. I stare at ci Citrus. Then back- Citrus? <laughs> he has a fruit now, guys! <laughs> Oh, I'm getting loopy. I stare at Cirrus, then back at the trembling person. When I ask them if it's true, they nod. I, I, th I think I should leave. I think you're staying right where you are. When I gaze back up at the priest, he's smiling in the way that gives me chills. Leave for now. We'll continue this later. He dismisses the shivering person without so much as a glance in their direction. He immediately obeys and scutters off. Then the door shuts behind us, and when I ask Sir and when I ask why Cirrus is locking it, he gives me no answer. He tucks the key away in a pocket, and with that, there's no way out. Hmm. And cliffhanger. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it here as a cliffhanger, so you guys have to come back. I'm holding you hostage as well. <laughs> this is me locking you in the room. Okay. So, Cirrus is up to some things. Um, well, it, it's nice that it wasn't, uh, you know, um, wanting him to, wanting the, um, stranger to hurt himself in repentance. It was just a, a supposedly a um, ritual dagger for dancing and stuff. So hopefully our boy is on the up and up <laughs> and not doing shady shit. But we're down. We're down in this cave. Everybody is doing shady shit. <sighs> okay. Okay. Let me know down below what you guys think. Um, we met another person that has a face. Well, you know, in a way, everybody's wearing masks, but I mean, he actually has art. So I bet he was another one of the love routes we could have taken. Um, yeah, I think he's on the, the artwork, maybe. I think there's three of them. Anyway, we're going to be continuing with uh, Cirrus's route in the next part. So... Leave a like or a comment to let me know you guys are enjoying this. And I'll make sure a part gets out quicker. Okay. Good night, all my chickadees. Behave, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.